Hey everybody, this is Rob Leo. Many of you know that I'm not a big fan of printing documents out to give feedback on them. That can all be done digitally, but oftentimes teachers want to take the uh, papers that students turn in in Google Classroom and print them out so they can put uh, pen, and pen comments or ink comments on them and return them to students. Again, not something I would necessarily advise, advise in the digital age, but it can certainly be done. There's a website called PDF Mergy that will merge all of your Google Docs into one, and then it can, they can be printed out in, uh, in one shot rather than opening and printing each of the files. So with that caveat in mind that uh, I'm not a big fan of printing, I'm going to show you PDF Mergy. The way you would search for it is to just type in your browser, PDF Mergy, M-E-R-G-Y, and uh, it's going to take you to this website, PDF Mergy web app to merge PDF files. Directions are pretty simple. You're going to drag your files here from your computer, or you can select your files from Google Drive. So I'm going to choose that option. I'm going to select my school account. Give it permission. And I'm going to go to my Google Classroom folder that is in my drive. I just need to find it because it's not looking like it's alphabetized right now. There's Classroom. And a while ago, I did a workshop um, where every student had a copy of a file that could then be turned in and edit edited and then turned in. So we're going to wait for that to show up. All right, now that we see all the folders, I'm going to select a workshop I did a while ago. It's called 824 Classroom Demo Section 1. There it is. And I did a make a copy for every student type of assignment where I gave the students a template. It automatically made a copy for them. They, they in turn edited the file and then turned it into me. I'm just going to open that up so that you can see all the files that live inside. The nice thing about uh, making a copy for every student is that it's automatically going to put their name on the file, but you may want to have the students put their name on the paper itself when they're typing their responses. So I'm just going to select the docs that I want to merge together. And uh, I just clicked on the first one, held down the shift key and clicked on, clicked on the last one to uh, select all of these consecutive files. Alternatively, you could, you could uh, click on one and then use the control key to select non-consecutive files. So if I wanted to I want to start here, for example, I'm pressing control on my keyboard and clicking non-consecutive files. But again, if you start with the first one and then press shift and click the last one, it'll do the same thing. So it's turning all of those into PDFs. When I'm all set, I'm gonna click the button that says merge. Now that it's done, I can either save the file to my computer, which I will do, or you could save it back to your Google Drive. I'm just going to save it to my computer. Uh, it gives it a name, Merge PDF. I'm going to click OK. And I believe this is going to go to my downloads. So now when I open this up, it's got everything on one document instead of having to open and print several documents. And again, I would recommend that you have your students put some kind of header where you have a field for them to put their name so you can identify who wrote what. Uh, this particular document does not do that, although when they were Google Docs, they were automatically named with each student's name in the title. So now if I choose to print this, it's just a matter of clicking the print button and sending it off to the printer. So once again, PDF Mergy. You're going to uh, merge PDFs. You can select them from Google Drive. I recommend you go into your Google Drive, find your Google Classroom folder, find an assignment that you uh, shared with students and you want them to turn into you. Um, and then if you wanna give them feedback by printing it out and using ink, um, you can certainly do that in one shot rather than doing it by uh, opening and printing each file. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for listening.